Hi, I get asked qu quite often what my favorite pattern of this or pattern of that is. And one of the most common questions is, what's your favorite Victorian floral pattern? Well, uh, there's a lot of choices. I would say there's, uh, well, it, for instance, there's about 400 patterns that have roses on them. So when you talk about all the florals, it's a pretty big group of patterns. And let me talk about a few of them. Okay, the most popular was Lily by Whiting. You know, nice lilies, nice design, very popular, sells great. Another real popular one, uh, people have always loved Lily of the Valley by Whiting. Here we have a asparagus fork that's hammered and gold washed. Here we have a pie server with some beading on it. it you know, it's very collectible. Bridal Rose by Alvin has the largest, biggest, boldest rose on anything. So, you know, there are people who care for that one a lot. Less Six Fleur, great depth of detail on the orchid, very heavy many, many pieces. It's beautiful. And, you know, lots of collectors. There's a lot of chrysanthemum patterns. There's Imperial Chrysanthemum, there's Tiffany Chrysanthemum, but I like Durgan Chrysanthemum. Um, I love the big flowers on it. This tea caddy spoon is really cool with the flowers that go into the bowl. Another favorite is Old Orange Blossom by Alvin. You know, very nice floral pattern. My pattern at home, Dauphine by Durgan. Durgan did really good florals. Uh, again, I love the way the flowers go into the bowl. I've had this pattern at home. I've collected for a very long time. I like how the flowers sit on the flat surface. I think it's really nice. Then another type of floral is the repose invented by Kirk in 1828. There's many makers of repose type patterns. I would say my favorite is Clooney by Gorham. It's not strictly repose, but it's the same type, tight flowers that the repose have. I like the bright cutting. I think it's really well done. They also made hollowware in the repose. Uh, here's two pieces that just came in that I really like. Here's this really cool terrapin terrine with this big turtle on the, on the top and these lion feet. Uh, this has 11 ounce marks and it's from the 1880s. It's really neat. So you like florals, uh, this is Kirk Repose. Uh, they did a lot with Kirk Repose. They did the flowers. As you can see, they did the turtle. I just had a piece with wild boars on it. Here is like a fruit bowl covered. What's kind of neat about this, it's got these four pieces of fruit that come up and it's got this handle on it and you twist this handle it comes off and then you have two fruit bowls, one with little feet. Very ingenious. The, um, the owners were kind enough to put the date of 1880 on it, Kirk and Son, and the 11 ounce mark which preceded the um, Sterling mark. One of the ones that probably would be my favorite would be the New Art pattern. So it's all different motifs. It's really heavy. It's really well done. It's got this shimmering water on the back and it has the iris pattern that it's used in conjunction with. And again, really neat piercing. You know, I think this is a very good runner up. There's really not a set of new art in itself. If there was, it probably would be my favorite. But my favorite is Flora by Schiebler, invented in 1899. I think the, the florals are beautiful. I think the shapes 
are unique of the serving pieces. Like here are three knives. All are different sizes, all have different flowers. This scoop, again, really nice florals. But what really puts you know, this in a league of its own are the teaspoons and the place pieces. Here's a group of teaspoons. So these are all teaspoons. They're all different flowers and they were very helpful. They numbered them on the back. So this one on the end is teaspoon number seven. The one in the middle is teaspoon number three and this one is teaspoon number five. And so there were 12 different teaspoon motifs. So I can't think of any other floral pattern where the, the place pieces had different motifs on the same pieces. Here's a, a butter spreader. You know, again, very unique. It's pierced around it. None of the other pieces are. And one of my favorite things we have right now are these grapefruit spoons. You really get the effect with these. They're all different flowers. They're all special. They're all well done. You know, at least for today, my favorite Victorian flavor, uh, favorite pattern is the Flora by Schiebler. Thank you.